An urgent exchange should be performed for infants with signs of intermediate or advanced stages of acute bilirubin encephalopathy like hypertonia, arching, retrocolis, uh, pistotonus, high pitch cry or recurrent apnea. So sometimes it's not clear cut but where in doubt better to do exchange if it's uh, approaching the level and you may do it even at a slightly lower level if the baby is uh, having signs of kernicter. Sometimes they may present to you beyond the peak and uh, you may not see the high level but the baby is uh, having features of kernicterus, you still have to rush to do an exchange in any neurologically abnormal baby with a high level of jaundice which potentially is bilirubin neurotoxicity. An urgent exchange should be performed for infants if the TSB is at or above the exchange as well. Uh, if you repeat the blood test while you are waiting for the blood to be ready and it starts reducing and the baby doesn't have features of encephalopathy then the exchange may be deferred. Continue intensive phototherapy and follow the TSB every two hours until it's below the escalation of care threshold. Cross-matched washed packed red blood cells mixed with thawed fresh frozen plasma. So the blood group uh, you choose depends on the condition you're treating and uh, the hematocrit approaching 40% is preferred as we discussed earlier. The additional albumin containing fresh frozen plasma will uh, help in keeping the hematocrit close to 40% and also augment the bilirubin removal.